everybody welcome back to my uh, channel my name is Jenny Allen and before we get started with today's video please make sure that you are subscribed that you thumbs up this video and check the description box below so as you can see I am out and about in the heart of London and I am actually on the Mall. I've done one or two videos from central London before and I will just give you a view of where I am at the moment so at the back straight down there is Buckingham Palace and the view that we just previously had going that way is Trafalgar Square and actually I think that they're beginning to set up for the coronation because over there Horse Guards Parade they're beginning to set up chairs and seating and all kinds of stuff so I think maybe in about two weeks time um, they will be having all the flags out and whatever uh, this place was packed actually when it was the Queen's uh, funeral this is the Mall but we're gonna just gonna walk down towards Buckingham Palace and the reason why I'm here is um, I did a video on it already but I thought with this video I'll go into a bit more detail um, for about 10 years now we're in what 20 2023 maybe about 2010 11 10 11 years now I've done I've prayer walked central London and I did it secretly for years years and years and years i will come down here and i will just walk up and down the mall trafalgar square oxford street um westminster uh, horse guards parade whitehall i will just walk up and down there and just pray and just pray and walk and pray um, I tend, I don't pray in English, I pray in the language of the Holy Spirit um, and I just pray, intercede, pray, intercede, pray and I'm down here today because I'm doing another prayer walk and I've done some of it, done some prayers already um, and I just felt kind of led to do a video on it to encourage you to pray about you know asking the holy spirit lord what area of my town or my city would you like me to pray and just pray a walk and just cover these areas and release the name of jesus and the blood of jesus over these areas um you know to see soul saved sometimes you can be walking past somebody and you don't know what they're going through you don't know what they're experiencing but somehow that prayer that you do can help that person we don't know what our prayers do when we're walking up and down the street you don't know how your prayers are affecting the atmosphere you don't know how your prayers are helping someone else make a decision because you've got to remember that we are first of all spirit the earth is a very spiritual place and when we pray we are affecting the areas that we're walking in and this is just a, a video for you to um, you know prayerfully consider doing prayer walks in your town and city the area where I live um, I've done a lot of prayer walking around there um, you know when I when I do my walks I do a lot of prayer walking I cover the area with prayer I cover the 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 streets that I live on in prayer I um, when I go into shops I pray in there because you just don't know what the Holy Spirit is doing maybe somebody's in two opinions about whether or not to give their life to Christ maybe somebody's on the verge of doing you know committing suicide maybe somebody's on the verge of making a wrong decision and your prayer God can take that prayer and use it in the queue you could be in the queue praying for something and you're praying in the spirit and some and god can use that prayer to minister to somebody in front of you and they just have a change of thought or they consider something else so i just want to encourage you to prayer walk 
prayer walk your town. Maybe you've got a prayer partner that you can pray with. You know, two of you can uh, go out and pray. I have someone that I go to certain parts of London with and we prayer walk those areas. And we declare that Jesus is Lord over those areas. Doesn't matter what the statistics say about the area. Doesn't matter what the statistics or the news says about that area. When you go in there, don't forget the word of God says that where the sole of your feet tread, it's yours. And you can claim areas for Jesus. And you can do it through prayer. Okay, so I'm going to do a bit more prayer walking. And then I will uh, show you close up other areas of central London. Uh, we're coming up to Buckingham Palace now. So let me, uh, when I get down there, I'll turn the video on. Uh, so you can see down there. Okay, so I'll catch you back in a moment. Hi, I'm now at Buckingham Palace and I'm going to do an aerial view for you. They're, actually, they are preparing for the coronation and there's loads of people down here. So I will give you a view of everything. Ooh, the sun's a bit glary. They're setting up. Yeah, they're setting up for the coronation. Hi everyone. I have just uh, gone cut through Horse Guards Parades. I walked down to Westminster and then I walked past Downing Street where the Prime Minister lives. And then I walked back round up and I'm going back up to the mouth. There's Horse Guards Parade. Where they get all the chairs set out and getting ready for the coronation. And I just prayed in that area. I prayed in the spirit and I also prayed in English. So, I prayed very specific prayers um, using scripture. So, I hope this video motivated you to start prayer walking your area. Research it. Uh, if you can get somebody to go with you, do that. You don't have to make a big song and dance about it when you're out on the street. But you can pray from your heart or pray quietly under your breath and just declare the glory of God in your town or city. Okay, God bless you, and I'll see you in my next video. God bless.